Chief Keith came out, it did not look like this in these streets, bro. Like, kids is hearing Percocet in a song and then going to get high. And like, I see it literally every day. And it's because of the music. I'm from a place where, like, it wasn't nobody with, like, you know, say, like, dreads and things like that. Long Beach was always, like, kind of alt Los Angeles kind of street culture. As soon as the music changed, we looked just like everybody else. And that was very telling to me because growing up, we was, like, the place with the weirdos. You know what I mean? And then it just looked like everywhere else. It just shows that it's too much access. Even though it might not sound as interesting as it is, like, I think it's important to live on an island. That gives us differentiation. And I I feel like we don't have that no more. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of because of what we created. You know what? I actually kind of agree with Vince Staples on, on that. Just both Chief Keith, just like influencing a lot of different listeners and fans to just be out in the streets and just even his lyrics and just shit from Shy Rock and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like I'm Canadian right now. So like, it sounds like I'm talking out of my ass, but it's just like my perspective. And I'm gonna keep bringing it back to my perspective right now. Like say for an example, like Juice World made very quote unquote depressing music, but he just made it sound so good. So whenever I listened to Juice World, it was like, yo man, every single lyric that he's saying is absolutely hits. And I feel like sadder music is almost like kind of like a dating, almost like a drug. And not to mention Juice World was also rapping and singing or whatever he was doing about drugs and stuff like that and just you know just about all the sorrows and stuff and i understand he was just really expressing himself and what he was going through you know what i mean but at the same time it's like yo music can really influence you and really just like really just influence what you do and stuff like that especially if you listen to it so many different times like if you're listening to a podcast or a song it's like yo i'm gonna make it i'm gonna be the, the best version possible you know what i mean you're gonna be always motivated but if you're listening to like depressing music being like oh sad this sad that it's gonna be in your subconscious and really screw you up in the sense where it's gonna you know just really make you 100 percent <laughs> depressed you know what i mean and even go back going back to like influence and stuff like that i remember juice wrote saying that future actually influenced him to like try perks and all these drugs and stuff like that you know what i mean and like rappers definitely make it very 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 dope just them like popping pills and stuff like that or if that's them in the streets you know what i mean like even be a young boy just running up on us off so dirk running up his ops and trenches and stuff like that they definitely glorify it you know what i mean but like i think my opinion is just the artist really just putting out their art and stuff like that but i also understand what vince staples is saying you gotta really be careful to like what you put out in the universe and stuff like that because you never know look at future look how many clones future has that talk about the exact same shit that that he's been through you know what i mean i don't blame him though because like where future was coming from and, and stuff like that like from the streets a lot of people can relate to that but you know what i mean but that's just like my perspective on it and i thought i'd just do a little breakdown and kind of just dissect on what he's trying to say and if i can kind of relate to that by at all you know what i mean and turns out i do even listening to mac miller like when i first listened to faces by mac miller he was talking about angel dust the psychedelics and everything on a very lower frequency level of music but very beautiful music so just kind of kind of just hit home like that you know what i mean it's just very influential music in a sense and even just some of the depressing bars just really dig deep it was almost like it dug into my subconscious even though i had no problems going on with me and i was just kind of it was just really interesting so i really understand what ben staples was really just trying to say and i respect i respect him with him being super honest about it right and i don't necessarily like ben staples new music just because it's like yo like I like more of the hype stuff. I like to feel, like feel stuff. But like sometimes he's just a little bit too. I guess you could say lyrical. I don't always want to hear a message. You know what I mean? So that's kind of like me. Like I'm, I'm a conscious person, but I just don't like listening to conscious music anymore. You know what I mean? And I don't always like to think. Straight up, I don't always like to think about what the artist is saying, all the songs of it. And Ben Staples is a hit or miss for me, but. Maybe I just contradicted everything I just, just said in the beginning of the video, but that's just like my opinion on it. But anyways, let me know in the comments, what do you think about Vince Staples saying all of this? And do you think Chief Keef influenced this new generation like Playboy Cardi, Little Uzi Vert? And 
more and more generations and everybody do you think this is a bad thing that he influenced such negativity or is it even such negativity it's just him expressing himself and other people relating to it you know what i mean let me know in the comments like this video and subscribe